From engines and track that glow in the dark, to engines made from the receiving end of sharts. Trackmaster has done basically everything. And while nowadays I'm more of an HO-OO modeler, when I was a kid, you couldn't separate me from Trackmaster. It was, and largely still is, my favorite brand of Thomas merchandise. Plus, being a fan for as long as I have, I feel like I've seen the best of the brand, and definitely it's worst. So, today I thought it'd be fun to make a top 5 list of the worst Trackmaster sets, at least in my opinion, which ranges from Trackmaster Classic, which I grew up with, to the modern day Trackmaster kids nowadays use. Also, just as a quick note, there are definitely more than 5 bad sets in this range. I just figured 5 would be a good potential start for this series. Plus, when I went to make this video, 5 sets came to mind. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into number 5, the Thomas's Busy Day set. Now, there's a couple variations of this set out there. I'm not sure if it's this one specifically, but I remember one that would connect to two other sets, one being Callan that came with Toby, and I think another that came with Percy, and these sets were supposed to connect to make a bigger one. But there's also been things like Thomas Rides the Rails, etc. They all kind of count under this one. This is one of the most disappointing Trackmaster sets I think you can find. It's literally an oval of track. If you're lucky someone like Toby or Percy, you're probably just gonna get Thomas though, and a single station, which doesn't connect to the track. It just kind of sits beside it. Thomas's Busy Day specifically released in 2009 and 2010, and consists of 12 pieces, a Thomas, the station, and the rest being track. It doesn't even come with a freight car. While it's definitely far from the worst Trackmaster set, it's definitely not something you're going to be the most excited to get. And I feel like most kids who did get this at their birthdays or maybe Christmas, they really wished they had Action Canyon. But that is it at its worst. At best, it's just a very simple set that comes with a station, which admittedly could be worse, and you're going to see worse, so that's why that's number 5. Our number 4 spot is another Trackmaster classic, that being Thomas's Chocolate Delivery. This set released in spring of 2011, and consisted of a circle of track, a one-dimensional chocolate factory, a single chocolate truck, a chocolate load, and Thomas of all engines. Yeah, because there's no other characters that have been to the chocolate factory, right? So, for some reason, they have Thomas delivering to the chocolate factory in this set, and it's not even an oval like the last one, it's just a circle. To add to that, like I said, the chocolate factory is one-dimensional, which I guess kind of makes sense for the loading feature, but I feel like they could have figured that out. And again, I, I can't get over this, D Thomas. They literally at this point had a chocolate covered Percy they could have just thrown in this set, or even just a normal Percy, and it wouldn't have made this list. But no, because they added Thomas, this has to be here. And overall, this set's just kind of boring. Just like the last one, I feel like if you got this one, you'd be pretty disappointed. Maybe a little excited at the fact you had a chocolate factory, but once you saw it, you'd probably be like, Man, Number 3 is the Runaway Boulder set, which released in 2012. Now compare this set to James at Boulder Mountain. Yeah, it's hard to find a more lackluster set. Neither sets make sense since Rusty was the one who encountered Boulder, James and Sir Handel were not in that episode, but while the previous set had a flip face James, Boulder with a face, and a figure 8 of track with a tunnel that James could go over and under, this comes with a normal Sir Handel on an oval. The boulder is also a normal looking boulder. It's a rock. It's not boulder. Yeah, this, this set sucks. Number one, because it's a normal oval, it's not going to chase the engine. It's just going to fall on the engine if you want it to. I can't imagine a kid playing with this and being excited for more than maybe three minutes. Especially if you're a fan of Rusty and the Boulder, this set's just, it just doesn't make sense. If you really want a set that has Boulder in it, get James at Boulder Mountain. Honestly, they should have just re-released that. That would have made them a lot more money. Overall, just a mid set. For our number two spot, we finally hit Trackmaster Revolution. And for this, I chose the Scrapyard Escape. This set released in spring of 2017. And as a set is based on Journey Beyond Sodor. Now, I don't know if you remember, but um, the escape was from the Smelter's Yard in that movie, not the Scrap Yard. That's where his friends were. So th this set just doesn't make sense. But as a set, it features a printed Lexi and other printed characters and detail. Thomas and a very gross looking truck, a beam like track that Thomas has to cross over, and a lot of grossly colored track. Something more fun or accurate, maybe even inspired, could have definitely been done here. A lot more easily, I think. They had made Hurricane, Lexi as character- why not just put them in the set, and then, I don't know, maybe make it about the smelter's yard? Maybe make Thomas cross over the lava beams like he actually did in the movie? But it is not as bad as our number one spot, which is the Dragon Escape set. What even is this? Did I miss an episode where Thomas had to fight a dragon? Good. I don't want to see that episode. So this set released in November of 2018, 
2019 and 2020. It is 16 pieces, features a one-dimensional goofy-ass dragon that's depicted shooting fire at Thomas as he climbs its back and comes through its mouth. At least that's what the box says. That's only achieved if you look at it from the right angle, which is head-on, kinda. Anywhere else, it just looks like a 2D dragon plopped on the side of a hill, which is exactly what it is. I'm also forgetting that this front track piece here apparently falls down as Thomas goes over it, but from personal experience, that's just a very annoying feature that you constantly have to reset yourself, and really doesn't add much to the set. Nothing about this is captivating, makes sense, or is worth your money. It's Thomas going over a hill, knocking over a piece of track that he can then go on to go back over the hill. And for some reason they just threw a dragon in. It, this set sucks. Need I say more? And those, ladies and gentlemen, are the worst Trackmaster sets of all time, at least in my opinion. There's definitely some others that could have made this list, and I may make another if you guys want me to. So if you guys have any suggestions or other sets that should have been on this list, or want me to make more, be sure to comment down below and let me know. Really quick, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, since videos like this wouldn't be possible without their support, and of course thank you guys for watching this far to the end. It was kind of fun to just ramble about toys I used to play with, and I'd love to do it again, but this is also making me want to buy more Trackmaster toys again, so maybe it's a bad idea. We'll see in the end, I guess. As always guys, thanks again for watching, and with all that being said, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. The dogs to help Cranky, the world of Trackmaster, now the story's in your hands, trust homie. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.